Hello and good afternoon to, I guess, evening to all of you joining us on this Monday. Thank you so much for being here. And we are so excited to tell you all about Northwestern and applying early decision to Northwestern University. So we'll all introduce ourselves so you can get an idea of who you will be speaking with this evening. And please put all the questions you have in the chat so we can answer as many as we can this evening. I'll start, my name is Simone and I will be your moderator this evening. I graduated in June from Northwestern. As an undergrad, I studied anthropology, environmental policy and sustainability. And I loved it so much, I'm sticking around a additional year to get my master's of science in um, sustainability in our McCormick School of Engineering. And to kick it off, Elizabeth, do you wanna introduce yourself? Yes, definitely. Thank you, Simone. Hi, everyone. My name is Elizabeth Bernstein. I am also a recent graduate of Northwestern from the College of Arts and Sciences. I studied neuroscience and psychology on the pre-med track and will actually be going into the business field after graduation. So kind of took a career change during my time at Northwestern. And I also love Northwestern so much that I'll be coming back in a few years to get my MBA from the Kellogg School of Management. Kayla, do you want to go next? Yes, I'd love to. Thanks, Elizabeth. Um, hi everyone, my name is Kayla and I'm a third year here at Northwestern. I'm studying biology and psychology on the pre-med track. And I'm also receiving my minor in business. Um, and when I'm not doing these little super fun Zoom panels, um, something that I'm involved in on campus is The Table, which is a new Northwestern startup that's focused on delivering late night foods to students around campus. Um, but I'm so excited to answer your guys' questions today. Um, Margo, do you wanna introduce yourself next? Yeah, thanks Kayla. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Margo. I am a fourth year student from Portland, Oregon, studying industrial engineering with a minor in computer science. Um, and when I'm not either giving tours virtually or doing these panels, um, I act as a peer mentor for several of our introductory computer science courses. Um, Kendall, do you want to go ahead? Sure. Hi, everyone. My name is Kendall. I am a fourth year student from Winfield, Illinois, majoring in human development and psychological services with minors in Spanish and legal studies. And when I'm not participating in events with the admissions office, I am a student ambassador for the Global Learning Abroad Office. Um, Duncan, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, and uh, last but most, obviously, I am Duncan. Um, I'm studying journalism and geography with a minor in religious studies. Um, I'm a fourth year as well from Alexandria, Virginia. So shout out the DC area. Uh, and something that I do on campus is that I am an editor and a story uh, producer for Northwestern's only uh, live uh, performance magazine called Lakeville Mag. Awesome. And then Mauricio, do you want to introduce yourself really quickly? We also have an amazing director on the call today. Yeah, thanks, Simone. Besides our amazing students, um, my name is Mauricio. I'm an assistant director of undergraduate admission at Northwestern. I also am an alum. I graduated in 2018 from Northwestern, and I'm really excited to be here. But the stars of the shows are the students, so I'll let them take it away. Thank you so much. We are so excited to be able to speak with you all tonight. Please keep adding your questions in the chat so we can get to as many as we can. Now, I'm sure that the first question you all have is, who should apply EED? What kind of person is applying early decision to Northwestern? So Elizabeth, can you kind of walk us through what an EED applicant is gonna look like? Yeah, definitely. That's a great question and a great way to kick off our panel this evening. I think it's really important to note and just kind of get the basics out there that early decision is a binding process, meaning that when you choose to apply early decision to Northwestern, you, your counselor, and a parent or guardian will sign an agreement saying that should you be accepted to Northwestern through the early decision process, you will rescind all other applications and you commit to enrolling at Northwestern. That is obviously a very big commitment. So someone who is going to apply early decision is someone who is fully committed to Northwestern, knows 100% that they want to be a wildcat. Maybe that's you've attended a bunch of these panels, you've took a tour on campus before you came and realized this is the school for me. It's an academic program. It's a certain extracurricular activity we have, whatever that it factor is for you and that right fit, you 100% would like to attend Northwestern. And so applying early decision is a really great option for you to do so, knowing you will find out a little bit sooner than if you were to apply regular decision. So I think just thinking about, do you bleed purple in a very healthy way, not in a bad way? 
Do you have Northwestern sweatshirts? Is it 100% where you see yourself for the next four years? I would definitely say that early decision could be a great option for you. Awesome, thank you so much, Elizabeth. Kayla, as someone who applied early decision, could you tell us a little bit about what went into your decision to make that binding agreement? Yeah, I definitely can. Um, so I had a list of things that I was looking for when I applied to college that I knew that I wanted out of my university. Um, so some of, the some of these things were that it was like in the Midwest, so kind of close to home because I'm from Michigan. I wanted to be somewhere near a big city. I wanted to be somewhere that would prepare me for med school. I wanted to do um, go to a school somewhere I could do research, but I had this whole list of like tangible things that I wanted from my school. And Northwestern checked all of those boxes. That was great. So did a few other schools. Um, but what really sold me was my um, ability to visit campus and to meet some of the other students who were here on campus. So my tour guide really helped convince me just seeing how beautiful it was here. I really could imagine spending my next four years here. So I think that that's really important is really taking the time to get some student perspective. So if you're already on this call, you're doing a great job. Um, and also see the campus either virtually or in real life if possible. Um, but those things really sold it for me and really is what made Northwestern stand out to me from other different schools. Um, so yeah, that's personally why I ended up making my decision. Thank you, Kayla. And while we currently aren't having students tour campus, we have some really fantastic um, tours on this YouTube account that you're watching this on right now. So definitely check that out if you did not get a chance to visit our campus in person. Someone asked if SATs or ACTs are mandatory at Northwestern this year. Mauricio, do you wanna talk about that? Yes, that's a great question. So for this admission cycle for all first year student applicants, our process does not require any SAT or ACT scores, which is great, uh, just because we understand that, you know, we have a pandemic going on that unfortunately has been going on for a very long time already. We also understand that there are unfortunately natural disasters taking place around the country, the world. And there's on top of that, a lot of other things going on. The long story short is we know with all of this in mind, it is physically difficult to go about taking a test at a testing center. We know many, if not the majority of testing centers are closed. So what we decided to do as a university is make it more equitable by making this admission cycle test optional for all students. So we do not require any SAT or ACT scores. It's not even quote unquote recommended just because we do have holistic admissions uh, with other academic records on file, including your transcript, your progress, the schedule that you're pursuing during your last year, which is really great in high school. Congratulations on making it to your last year of high school. Uh, so that's a little bit more, but we do have a frequently asked questions regarding our test optional policy that I'll actually post in our chat in just a few seconds. So thanks for that question. Of course. Someone also asked if applying to Northwestern undecided and early decision negatively impacts your early decision application. Mauricio, do you also want to just quickly chime in on that one? Yeah, I love it. There's lots of questions coming in. So keep it up. Uh, just keep in mind, everyone, to have that early decision frame in mind because we really want to help you out with that. So the thing is, for early decision students, what we really look for, and in general, all applicants at Northwestern, when you select your major, whether it be undecided or any other of our other over 190 majors, is for you to for us to get an understanding as admission readers uh, what you are passionate about, what you would like to pursue at Northwestern. Statistically, there is no difference in acceptance rates for students looking to apply undecided or you know, looking to apply in our School of Engineering, what have you. You know, we are highly selective so it is, you know, you want to put your best foot forward and do your best and being able to fill out the application and put yourself in the situation where you're articulating that well to us admission readers. And we have some really helpful apply learning series videos on our channel that should help you out with that. And you know, all these students are here, so you can ask them about their experiences. Hope that helped with the question. Yeah, thank you. Speaking of student experiences, Kendall, what are the benefits of applying early decision to Northwestern? That's a great question. <clears throat> I think some of the benefits is that 
Um, it shows how obviously passionate you are about this university. Um, I've heard some other admissions counselors describe ED as sort of like a marriage. Like, you know that Northwestern is the one for you. You've done your homework. You are so, so excited to be with, make this commitment. Um, so it really just demonstrates how excited you are about being in this university. And you know that you, you are gonna be a great fit for the university and the university is a great fit for you. So those are some of the benefits I see sort of like on a more general level, in addition to um, knowing that you'll get your decision a little bit earlier. But I think the biggest thing is that you get to demonstrate how excited you are to be a wildcat, that you bleed purple and all those other amazing things. Thank you so much, Kendall. I think that's a fantastic answer. Now, we also have some panelists with us today that applied regular decision. So I want to hear from both Margot and Duncan. Let's start with Margot. Why did you decide to apply regular decision versus early? Yeah, great question. Um, yeah, so I think when I was a senior in high school and, and deciding where I wanted to go for college, um, I didn't really know exactly what I was looking for in a school. Um, my sister and I were like the, the oldest of our family. So uh, our family and my parents hadn't really gone through that process before. And I was kind of, kind of like considering a lot of different places. Um, and so I kind of knew that like, I didn't know that I was going to be able to find a place that I could hundred percent commit to that early on. And I wanted to sort of test my options and apply to, to a really wide range of different kinds of schools. Um, so that's really the primary reason that I didn't apply ED also just because it is binding. Um, I, I didn't want to, to, you know, not be able to visit beforehand and not be able to have a, a really good idea of what my experience would be like. Obviously, you can go on as many tours as you want. You can talk to as many students as you want. And like, that's still not going to give you the exact rep um, representation of what your student life is going to be like at Northwestern. Um, but I do think that if you are choosing to apply ED, it is really important to, you know, do your research and, and make sure that it seems like the place for you. Um, and I knew that I wasn't going to be able to visit schools until after I had already applied and gotten in. Um, so that was kind of a main reason for me. I will say, though, like, I, I definitely do see the value of applying ED. And I think if, if it's something that you know, or a place that you know that you want to go to immediately, like definitely consider that. Yeah, and pretty similar to, to Margo, I just wasn't quite ready to fully commit to Northwestern on that level yet. Um, I was lucky enough to visit Northwestern and visit Evanston uh, before applying, but I really, was not at the stage of being able to like fully commit to Northwestern, especially because I'm from the DC area, like I said. So uh, Chicago is a little bit further away for me. I'm not like from the region. I don't have family in this area. So um, that was a big inhibitor. I wasn't in, like entirely convinced that I wanted to go so far away at that point. Um, but that being said, I was totally into Northwestern. It was easily at the top of my list in terms of colleges. Um, and one other factor that I was considering as well was that I was applying for a couple other outside scholarships for colleges that prohibited me from applying uh, early decision anywhere. Um, so by applying to those scholarships, I decided to do that instead of applying early to Northwestern or to another school. That being said, I really did love Northwestern. And I will say, like, regardless of whether you're doing early or regular decision, definitely I recommend like using that Why Northwestern essay portion to get across like how excited you are about the university, because you can definitely display that regardless of whether you're going early decision or regular decision. Awesome. Thank you both so much. I think that is a very helpful insight to have as well. I really quickly just want to answer a question. Someone asked when you hear about your financial aid decision for early decision. Um, after you get your admissions decision for your early decision application, you should receive your financial aid package in a few days. Um, and from there, you can speak with our wonderful financial aid office. They are available through email and phone. Um, and that's a really great resource if you have any questions about the package you get. But you will get that package very quickly after you get your decision. Another question we have, Elizabeth, this is coming to you, slightly more of an admissions-based question, but if you apply early to Northwestern, can you apply early action to a different school? Yeah, that's a great question. And again, 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 I think terminology here is really important. We've thrown around ED and RD, so early decision and regular decision. Like I mentioned earlier, early decision is that binding process. Within EA, which stands for early action, which some schools offer, there is early action and then there is restrictive early action. So it's really important to know if the school that you're interested in applying EA to is restrictive early action or regular early action. 
if the school you are applying to is restrictive early action, then you cannot simultaneously apply early decision to Northwestern and restrictive early action to another school. Should you be interested in applying early action to a school that is not restrictive, that is definitely okay and something that you are welcome and able to do should you be interested in applying early decision. But again, just double check, double check with your counselor if you're unsure, reach out to that school and make sure that you know the difference of whether it's early action or restrictive early action because that is a very big difference. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Now, Mauricia, we have a few um, more admissions-based questions that we wanna ask you. So first, can you tell us how much of the class is accepted through early decision? Yeah, that's a really good question. A question we get pretty often. So because Northwestern, you know, we want students who love Northwestern and care are dedicated and understand uh, that that's the place that they wanna be because that really contributes to the culture and community as evident and our wonderful student panelists today. And hopefully by some of the other events that you've attended uh, or anything along those lines. So we do take about half of our first year class through early decision, uh, which is pretty comparable with a lot of other highly selective universities. And we also don't foresee that changing as in like increasing the amount of students we take through early decision uh, this cycle or anything along those lines. So to put that into perspective. And then the second question we have for you is in light of this pandemic, will Northwestern's relationship with CPS and other Illinois based high schools be impacted at all? You know, that's a really good question. So I think when it comes to where students are applying from, whether it be a Chicago public school, whether it be Illinois, which is the state where Northwestern is located, whether it be internationally or anything along those lines, we always take the opportunity to create a first year class that is representative of our world and is diverse across all ways possible, geographically, socioeconomically, racial, ethnically, what have you. So we don't have a specific quota of students that we would like to take from, you know, Chicago public schools or Illinois, it's not like we favor a certain state over the other. We still aim to have a class with students from all across the country and all across the world. That's why we do have students in our undergrad population from over 95 different countries in all 50 states. We really value those wonderful perspectives. Uh, so I hope that helps in addressing that question. So we'll still look for students who are awesome all around the world. And like I mentioned, our connection to CPS and ETHS is very important to us, and that will continue to be important to us in light of everything that is going on as well. Now I have some more fun questions for our panelists today. So Kayla, first I'm going to come to you. What factors contributed to you deciding to apply early decision, specifically about the Northwestern factors um, and traits that helped you decide? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so I was actually really lucky when I was going through my college experience, I was actually able to visit and stay at Northwestern's campus one summer. Um, so as a part of a summer program, I got to live on campus. I was given a student ID card, we call them wild cards, like wildcats, wild cards, we think we're so clever. Um, but we got to use this like to get into all of our dorms. I really truly felt like a student. Um, and what was great was we also got to meet some students and meet some professors. Um, so not only did I get to live on campus and feel like a student already, and I was like, wow, I really can see myself committing to this school. Um, but also you could just tell how driven and passionate the students and faculty were at this school. Um, so I like got that from my like nine days that I stayed here over the summer. And then I came here to campus and found out that it was even more true. Um, Northwestern also tries really hard to give you as many opportunities as you um, as they can to help you explore the things that you're also interested in. So. It's easy to find a research position. If you want an internship, we have so many um, places on campus set up to help you find those things out, um, which I think is super great. And then I ended up applying early decision because I wanted to show Northwestern um, that I was ready to be committed to them if they were ready to be committed to me. Um, so I hope that makes sense and answers the question. Thank you, Kayla. Margo, can you tell us a little bit about the people on Northwestern's campus? Yeah, for sure. Um, I love this question because even though I applied regular decision, the reason that I ended up deciding to come here um, was strictly because of the people. 
Um, as I mentioned in my last answer to the last question, I didn't really know what I was looking for in terms of a college towards the beginning of the process. That's really why I didn't apply ED. Um, didn't really know what I wanted to major in or anything like that. So I kind of realized that like when I was going to gonna commit to a college eventually, it would kind of come down to, to the people who were there. Um, wanted to make sure that I was going to feel really comfortable and really at home with that population. So um, the people at Northwestern, in my mind, obviously, you know that they're going to be smart and driven um, and passionate people. I think that really speaks for itself. Um, what I didn't really know, you know, how it was going to be or, or something that I didn't really expect was that the students here are also really, really down to earth and just genuinely kind people. Um, I think I didn't experience any of that, you know, really competitive catty, uh, uh, you know, anything like that that I might have potentially expected um, from a school that that is quote unquote highly regarded or has really, really smart students who are really passionate and driven. Um, and so that's just something that I noticed when I did come to visit that spring of my senior year. Um, and that's really the main thing that made me want to come to this school. Um, and really, as I've spent, you know, three, four years here at this point, like I've not once felt like I was competing with my classmates for anything, um, which I think is a really, really valuable experience and definitely just made my college experience overall just that much better. That's amazing to hear. And in a similar vein to that, Kendall, can you tell us a little bit about the culture on campus? Margot did allude to this and talked about how collaborative the environment is, but could you speak to your experience as well? Yeah, um, Margot also kind of talked about this. One of the things about Northwestern's campus culture that I love so much is the passion that everyone has for everything they're involved in. Um, you'll always find students willing to talk about the clubs or extracurriculars they're involved in and they're always so excited to be participating in things and being a wildcat and showing school spirit um, in all sorts of ways. I think sometimes people conflate school spirit just with athletics, but at Northwestern there's so much school spirit in everything from the theater productions to the acapella shows to the different student groups and to athletics too, obviously. We love, love seeing all of our wildcats succeed in any sort of way. So that's something that's really special to me about the campus culture is that everyone is so passionate and everyone supports each other in those passions. Like Margot said, there's no competitive nature. I never feel like I'm competing with someone to take up airtime or say that my project is more important than theirs. That's not true. Everything is so collaborative and everyone supports each other in everything they do at any quarter of campus, at any spot on campus at any time during the year. Amazing, thank you so much. Duncan, the next question is for you. So the Why Northwestern is a very hot topic. Everyone wants to know a little bit about that. So what's an effective way of showing your interest in Northwestern in only 300 words? Yeah, so that's a that's a great question. That's something that I still remember like racking my brain over uh, sitting in my room over winter break my senior year, wondering about how to do. Um, but I think the number one thing I would have to say before I directly answer the question is that there is no right way to, you know, write an answer. There's no formula um, because of course, like it is pretty easy to tell when you just put like Northwestern in for any college name and just copy and paste it from another essay. And I would say, you know, any why Northwestern or why whatever school name in there is something that you really should sit down and think about like, what is it about this school that makes me so compelled to apply there and so excited about it. Um, and like I said, it is definitely a lot easier than you think to tell like how genuine your response is. Um, so, and I alluded to this the last time I was talking, but um, I think the most important thing to get across in that essay is how excited you are about Northwestern and specifically why it is Northwestern and not, you know, X college that uh, could fill in the blank. Um, and for me, I was really interested in journalism. So that was a huge aspect of my uh, application, but I definitely made sure to like uh, do my research and know what I was talking about and know that I could communicate exactly the kinds of opportunities that I wanted to take advantage of. And also why like I thought that Northwestern should want me as a student in uh, the student body as well. Um, so I think it's a lot about that pairing that Mauricio was uh, mentioning as well about like, knowing that you want Northwestern and that Northwestern also wants you and why that pairing works well. Amazing, thank you. Um, we had a quick question about interviews for early decision applicants, and that's a great question. So this year, because of the pandemic, um, all of our interviews that are alumni based will be held over Zoom and virtual. So those will still be happening, I promise you that. For both early decision or regular decision applicants, after you submit your application, 
you will be reached out to if there is available um, interviewers in your area. Um, we do like pairing you by area still just because it you know, makes things a little easier to have conversations about and people understand the context a little bit better. Um, and we are once again, doing it based on availability in the area. So you will be reached out to after you submit your application. Okay, Mauricio, we have a few questions for you. First, if your financial aid package is unsatisfactory, are you able to decline your early decision admission? Yeah, that's, I feel like I keep saying this, that's a really good question, but all of these questions are very valid and absolutely important to discuss. And I will say, I think, especially when it comes to early decisions, since it is a binding agreement, financial aid and even in regular decision is just as important as applying for admission at any university to be quite honest. So we would encourage folks right now, especially if you are considering early decision to check out our, night our net price calculator available on our website. It gives yourself, your family members or whoever is available and able to fill this out to give yourself a better idea of what a potential financial aid package may look like at Northwestern just to let y'all know in case you weren't aware, we only offer need-based financial aid from our financial aid office. Uh, so it's meeting you where you are. So the difference between your estimated family contribution by filling out the FAFSA and the CSS profile uh, and our total cost of attendance, which is tuition, room and board, fees, et cetera, is your financial aid package. Let's say you fill out the net price calculator, chat with our financial aid office, everything along these lines, apply early decision, are admitted to Northwestern, and then you get in financial aid package that doesn't necessarily reflect even close to what the net price calculator showed you. There is a process for you to be able to appeal your decision and you can apply for more aid. It sounds more stressful than it is, but I promise you that it's not. Uh, you would just extend that conversation further with the financial aid office. However, if that conversation still does not result in a financial aid package that is satisfactory or meets your financial needs. I under, especially understand that right now with a lot of uncertainty surrounding the pandemic and family financial circumstances. Uh, if you get to that point, it's still not you know, possible for you to attend Northwestern. We would release you from the binding agreement. So financial circumstances are the only circumstance under which we release students from the binding agreement. And then another qu question for you is, so how has COVID impacted admissions, um, specifically in terms of students in this current incoming class taking gap years, and will that impact the incoming class the following year? Another very common question we're getting these days, and I understand the anxieties that are around this, you know, the college application process is one that is stressful, unfortunately, but we're here to help you as students, as admission officers, to put your best foot forward and make it less stressful for you. So to be transparent, you know, every single year we do receive gap year requests, even during non-pandemic circumstances. However, this year we did not receive a significantly higher number of gap year requests. It stayed pretty much this pretty similar to what we received in years past. Was it just a little bit higher? Yes. Will that impact admissions for this incoming class? No, because the matter of fact is being a highly selective university at North, such as Northwestern, it's going to be competitive no matter what when it comes to admissions and everything along those lines, because there are so many wonderful students across the world that we evaluate and we unfortunately can't take because there's only enough uh, beds in our residence halls that we can provide to students on campus during non-pandemic circumstances. Uh, so my piece of advice would be, again, ask the questions that you really wanna know here today for our wonderful student panels. Engage with us further on social media, sign up for these events to really help you understand that. And again, put your best foot forward in the process for any school. So hope that helps as well. Thank you, Mauricio. Elizabeth, I have a question for you and it's a little vague. So take this however you want to, but can you tell us a little bit about the resources available to Northwestern students? Yeah, definitely. This is something I love talking about because I think one of the huge benefits of attending Northwestern are the resources that Northwestern provides to students across 
all different areas. So I'll kind of break these down category by category. This is gonna take just a little bit because we do have so many. So first, just talking about financial resources, we do have student enrichment services. So all things like financial, um, we obviously have our Office of Undergraduate Financial Aid, but let's say there's a student organization that you might want to join and that student organization has a trip that they're gonna go on for a tournament and that presents a financial burden to you. Student enrichment services can certainly help with that. We also have um, mental health support for students on campus. So that's primarily done through counseling and psychological services. I can personally attest to the fact that they were incredibly responsive when I had was not going through the best of times. Um, obviously that's just my experience, but Northwestern does do its best to provide support for the mental health and well-being of students, both in CAPS and also just kind of through day-to-day -day activities. I know it can seem like minute, but through stress relieving activities during finals week and reading week, like therapy puppies and therapy ponies, these may seem small, but I think they are really important. There's also an immense amount of academic support, and I really can't emphasize this enough. We have phenomenal professors who are so eager and so willing to help students who might be struggling academically. We also have peer guided study groups. We have a writing center for any study or like essays that you may need help with. We also, beyond that, have so many advisors to support you, whether that's career advising, that's academic advising, that's undergraduate research advising, fellowships. There are truly so, so many opportunities to get support. And I know, I think Kayla is going to talk about some of the other resources that we have on campus as well. Yeah, Kayla, can you speak to a little bit about the resources that students of color have on Northwestern's campus? Yeah, I think that's a great question. Um, first of all, I would say that Northwestern tries really hard to encourage community between students here. So we have a multicultural center, we have a black house. These are truly spaces where students do congregate, especially during the normal school year um, when we actually have physical spaces on campus to be in. Um, but people will gather, do homework there together, spend lots of time. Um, they close like really late at night. So you really will see students actually like making use of the spaces on campus. Um, additionally, I found that professors um, of color as well as other like faculty members in terms of advisors can be really helpful in that way as well. Um, so like lots of professors have open office hours. They really do want you to come and speak with them if it's something about their class or just something else um, that you're interested in pursuing or something that you really need to talk about with them. They usually are open to having lots of conversations with you. Um, we even had some professors like bribe students to come to their office hours by offering like candy and stuff like that as well. Um, but I would say really like use the people here around you. Um, we also have a student enrichment services center. So if you're looking for something in terms of aid um, or money in some way, that's also a resource for people to go to. Um, and as Elizabeth said, like our CAPS program, like once you get there, like they're really great um, counselors there as well who are there to help talk through any um, sort of mental health issues that you might be struggling with. Um, yeah, so there's lots of different resources here on campus and community that is fostered. Thank you so much, Kayla and Elizabeth. Um, I want to quickly ask us a more ED specific student based question. So I'm going to have Kendall and Elizabeth both tell me your answers to this one. We'll start with Kendall. But are there any specific aspects of Northwestern's campus that contributed to your decision or what made you feel at home on campus? Yeah, so um, I definitely was drawn to the actual physical layout of campus. I love the lake. I'm from Illinois. Lake Michigan is always a huge part of my life. Makes me feel super at home. So being that close to the lake was something that really attracted me to Northwestern. Um, I know you can't really see it in person right now, but we have, like people have said, we have our tour videos on our website. So you can kind of go and see the lake through the digital lens um, and how cool it is. It looks, so it looks like an ocean. People are always confused, but I promise it's a lake. Um, so that was a big sort of simple thing that drew me to Northwestern. But in terms of the actual space, like people have alluded to, um, I felt that even when I was here as a prospective student, there were faculty and students that were just so open and welcoming to me. Um, I scheduled an appointment with an advisor at the School of Education and Social Policy, um, and she sort of talked me through what being a student in SESB would look like um, and was just so open with me and honest with me and so kind. And then when I actually came to Northwestern, she remembered me and remembered that meeting. So that was something that really meant a lot to me that she really did care about me as a prospective student and then actually as a real student. So sort of that combination of the beautifulness of the physical spaces on campus, but also feeling welcome in the actual spaces, more academic spaces, even as a prospective student really, really made me love Northwestern and want to share that passion for another four years. 
Yeah, I think I can echo a lot of Kendall's sentiments. I also think beyond like really loving Northwestern's campus, I think it's incredibly important to talk about our location and all of the different things that our location in terms of opportunities has really been able to afford me as an undergraduate student. I'm from New York City, so having the proximity to Chicago is something very important to me, such generally proximity to a big city when I was applying to colleges. But I also really wanted this feeling of a quintessential college town and feeling like I had a specific Northwestern community. And really the balance of Evanston and Chicago is more than you could really ever ask for when you're looking for kind of the best of both worlds in that sense. So having Evanston and having the opportunity to see like a very vibrant community on Saturdays during football season or really throughout the year seeing wildcat discounts um, and overall just having a community that's really invested in and mutually cares about Northwestern students the same way that Northwestern tries to care about our community um, and be like good friendly neighbors. Additionally, though, being in Chicago was totally fantastic and having those opportunities. I volunteered at Lurie Children's Hospital during my time at Northwestern, which is located right next to our downtown campus in Chicago. So I took our free inter-campus shuttle between those two, and that was always a really great way to get into Chicago. But additionally, just the ways that Northwestern helps students to engage with Chicago. So whether that's NU Day at Wrigley, which is a day when Northwestern buys a whole bunch of tickets to Wrigley Field to go see a Cubs game, or really just witnessing history in the making. So for example, when um, Simone and I were first year students, the Cubs actually won the World Series. It was an away game, but that was so cool. Literally everyone I know went on the CTA, which is Chicago's public transit system, down to Wrigley Field and celebrated. And it was such a cool moment to be there breaking like the curse on Chicago. But overall, I think that those like aspects of the community were really important to me. And in terms of feeling at home, I think it's a lot of what everyone has said of the people. Honestly, my tour guides actually had two tour guides. They did a joint tour. So really cool to hear both of their perspectives when I was touring. Um, and overall, just have the opportunity to see, like a lot of us have expressed on this panel, how much we love Northwestern and what a great four years it would be at Northwestern. Amazing. Thank you both. Now I have a question for Margo and Duncan. What is your favorite thing about Northwestern in general? Duncan, do you want to start? Yeah, definitely. So another question that I, that I love hearing um, and not to be super cliche and repetitive with everyone else, but I really do think that the people really drive home Northwestern's values and make it such an incredibly vibrant community. Um, and I also want to want to share one story that I love sharing is that um, when I applied to Northwestern and I was deciding between schools uh, as a senior in high school, um, Northwestern's admissions officer was actually the only admissions officer that I got a personal email from about my essay and my application and why he thought I would be a good fit at Northwestern. Uh, and I was really just so blown away because, you know, North, a place like Northwestern gets thousands and thousands of applications. And, you know, I really felt that comfort and like I was wanted at Northwestern. And I would say that's very representative of my entire experience here as well, because people just are willing to go uh, the extra mile to show that they care about you and show that they're here for uh, you to, to support you through academic resources, through uh, social life, through mental health, and all of the above. Um, and I think that's something that I really appreciate about this community is that um, I've never felt alone and that regardless of the obstacles in my way, I always feel like I have a really great support system. Yeah, so I, I mean, first of all, I can absolutely echo everything that Duncan just said, um, but just so that I don't sound like a broken record, since I already talked about how much I love the people at Northwestern, um, I'd say another thing that I really, really have loved during my time here is just how like wholly encouraged it is for you to explore a bunch of different things. Um, I think this is something that I was really looking for coming into college just cause I was like, you know, 17, 18, really didn't know what I wanted to do. Um, and I was nervous that I'd like take some intro classes for engineering, realize that I didn't like it and then and then be stuck in it cause I wanted to graduate in four years and not have time to, to explore other things. Um, and this is just absolutely not the experience that I had. My first year I took classes in engineering and economics and sociology and psychology. Um, really any field that I thought might be interesting. And as you can tell, there wasn't a lot of overlap between those fields. Um, and I was really just able to like work with my advisor and work with like other students that I'd been chatting with to sort of 
like talk about paths that might be appropriate for me, um, just test out a bunch of different classes and a bunch of different fields that that could be potentially interesting. Um, and that was something that was really encouraged. Like at no point was was any of my or were any of my advisors saying like, all right, well, you know, you're you're getting close to sophomore year, like it's time to just pick something and stick with it. Um, that's just absolutely not the attitude that is um, encouraged at Northwestern. And I think like I can speak for most students here and saying that like when you step foot on this campus, you're absolutely not pigeonholed into some kind of category. It's really, really encouraged for you to just try a bunch of different things that are like, you know, they might be related to each other. They might not be at all. Um, but with the curriculum and just with the general attitude of people here, you really have that flexibility to just try a bunch of different stuff and, and figure out what works for you. Thank you so much. I just want to take a moment before we end with our last question to talk about all the other opportunities you all have to engage with our Northwestern community and learn more about the school as you're trying to figure out if early decision is the right course of action for you. First, we have our NU Comes to You programs um, where your regional admissions representatives, so the people who are reading your applications, are going to be there to take questions um, in a similar um, add format to this. If you go to our Northwestern website and click on our visit and engage tab, we have all of our, those opportunities. And in there, you also have purple preview conversations where you can sign up to speak with a current student who is studying in an area that you are interested in studying. Additionally, we have um, our admissions counselor email. So myself, Elizabeth, and a host of other um, current students at Northwestern have an email that Mauricio is going to put in the chat. You can email us to reach a bunch of current Northwestern students who know a little bit about both the admission side and the academic side of Northwestern. We also have office hours coming back where you can meet with current students and admissions counselors to ask questions about Northwestern in a more free form way. We also have every Wednesday this month on YouTube a new live tour so you can really get a feel for campus even if you can't physically visit. So those will be at 6 p.m. Central. There's going to be one focused on STEM, one focused on athletics. There's going to be a ton of opportunities. We also do have another early decision panel later this month if you have more questions that didn't get answered. So there are tons of things you can do and use this YouTube as a resource. We have a ton of information sessions and other student panels if you have any lingering questions about Northwestern's community, culture, or academics. So to round us out, I want us all to kind of end with one question. So that is going to be, what is something you all would say to a student considering early decision at Northwestern? A variation on our typical why Northwestern ending. So Elizabeth, do you want to start? What would you tell a student considering early decision? Yeah, I'll first off start by saying that applying early decision to Northwestern is one of the best decisions that I've ever made. Um, but my best advice to students throughout the college process is to think about not only all of the facts on paper, but think about a place where you could not only be happy at your best, but feel really supported and cared about by your community professors and like at an institutional level alike. So I think really looking at a place where you know, you feel like you'll be supported and have a really great experience for the next four years, whether or not that's Northwestern. I think do your research, talk to students and make the decision ultimately that's best for you. Kayla, do you want to go next? Yes, I can. Um, I would say if you're looking to apply your early decision that if Northwestern is a great fit for you, then you'll probably end up here anyways. Um, my There's someone from my high school here um, there are four of us here. I'm sorry about that. Um, and we all got in literally a different way. So I applied early decision, someone applied regular decision, someone applied regular decision and then was deferred and then got in that round. I mean, sorry, applied early and then was deferred and then got in that round. Um, and then someone else transferred here from another university. So if you, if Northwestern is a school for you, then you'll end up here. I would say don't put too much pressure on yourself. But if you know this is the school for you, then you should be happy to apply early decision. Um, Kendall. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Kendall, do you want to go next? Sure. Um, so for students looking to apply ED, I think, yeah, echoing what everyone else has said, make sure that you can really see yourself here, but also see how your future self could be here. Northwestern has so many opportunities and things that I didn't even consider when I was applying. I actually I was one of those people I applied ED, was deferred, and then got in regular decision. Um, so I sort of had this moment of, oh my gosh, is Northwestern still a school for me? And it really was, even though I had to kind of take a little break in between. Um, but during that time, I was able to sort of think about, okay, what am I now and who do I want to be in the future? And thinking about how Northwestern could really help me 
get there and looking at different websites and things. So doing your research on what you are now and how Northwestern can help you get, um, be the person you wanna be in the future, I think is what advice I would give to people considering ED. Think about yourself now, but also the person you wanna be a couple years from now. So Margo, do you wanna go next? Yeah, for sure. So, so obviously, like, I guess I have a bit of a different perspective just since I didn't end up um, applying ED. But I think that like after having gone to Northwestern for three years and, and kind of understanding the community and everything here, I'd say the primary thing that I would suggest to students applying ED, really if that's to Northwestern or anywhere else, is to, to really take advantage of all of the resources that are available to you um, in terms of finding out more about that institution. Um, while it's always great to like talk to friends or, or you know kids that went to your high school who ended up going to Northwestern, um, I think like while obviously COVID's putting a, a bit of a damper in tours and things like that, it also is making it actually a lot more accessible. Like I said, I wasn't able to, to visit Northwestern until after I had gotten in, um, just to kind of like limit the number of schools that I was traveling across the country to visit. Um, but just the, the fact that now we have tours that are posted onto our YouTube channel, we have tons of panels just like this. Um, we really just have a ton of resources for you to really connect with the school and figure, figure stuff like that out. Um, so yeah, I just, I just really encourage to, to make sure that you're like using up all of those resources um, and just making a, a relatively informed decision. Um, okay, Duncan, do you wanna finish us off? Yeah, definitely. So I just want to echo what everyone has said. That's awesome advice uh, that you should consider. One thing that I definitely would recommend is um, think about like even making a list of all of the things that you maybe want to explore at a place like Northwestern or what you want to do in college, like where you want your paths to go. Of course, not saying that you have to know right now because, you know, all of us don't know where the next day is going to take us. Um, but one great exercise that I tried to do was definitely just think about like everything that I wanted to take advantage of in college, all of the possibilities that I had in front of me and seeing how well those line up with different colleges that you're looking at. Uh, and if Northwestern is the right place for you, then it's going to become clear that they have everything that you want to uh, explore and want to uh, look into and want to take advantage of. Um, and then one thing as well is that I would say, think about like, all of the perspectives that you've heard from all of the students today um, and admission counselors and uh, think about how those line up with like your values, where you want to go in terms of college um, and envision yourself in a community full of people who are just as excited to talk about Northwestern. Um, and I think those are two great things to, to consider. Awesome. Thank you all so much. And thank you to everyone here who asked questions and came and listened to us talk to you about Northwestern and early decision. I want to thank you all so much. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check out Northwestern Admissions on Instagram. Have a great Monday and go Cats.